Cavalier. Hello there fantastic viewers, my name is Tando. Black Panther premiered this weekend and we went back wild. We absolutely showed up in numbers to watch it 3D. Was it a sound financial decision mid-month and all? Uh, let's not go there. Now we all know why the rest of the planet is going insane over this movie, man. Reasons such as Chadwick Boseman being the very first black male lead in a Marvel movie, the first black superhero in a mainstream comic, the all-female bad bad group of the protector of the realm, the Dora Milaje, an amazing film with not a single damsel in distress in the whole movie, a depiction of an uncolonized independent African nation, we get all those reasons and somebody else is going to do that video somewhere in Egypt or Nigeria or the UK or Kenya somewhere. That's not why I'm here today. I'm here to do the video of why I as a South African went berserk, lost all of my over Black Panther. Let's get into it. Reason number one, familiar faces from our local screens. Mom Katie, so you left Rhythm City to go all the way to Uganda. Oh hey girl, we see you. And then of course, Big Gunny and Little Gunny. That whole sperm-ception of them playing the same role, the dad of Chitala, but in actual fact, in real life, they are father and son. And moreover, Atandra is playing the younger version of John Gunny. But it's actually, that's, that's actually what's going on in reality. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my brown. Number two. One of our official languages is because I was used in the film. And I've heard the critics going on about, oh, the Brits and the Americans butchered our language. Girl, you know very well that you mobilized from the Eastern Cape and you've been staying in Johannesburg for the past 10 years and you just still can't say what I mean. You need to sit down. You need to check yourself. Come in, Lee! Reason number three. Our national treasure, Babe Sword Dumo's music, playing in Wakanda's national treasure's laboratory. <laughs> Reason number four, and you cannot deny and say this is not like in your top three favorite moments in the movie, the Vasuchi blanket. Now we South Africans are not trying to steal the shine from our neighboring country, Lesotho, but we do have Basotho people who are South African born and Isisotho is one of our nation's 11 official languages. So we share the blanket, okay? We share the blanket, it is ours. Now I saw the blanket during that combat coronation scene where I saw a whole bunch of other actually uh, donations from the rest of of South African tribes. I saw this, I saw the beads, I saw Ink Eshi, which was worn by Mum Angela Bassett. Wow, Tando, you're so neat, girl. What's one of Mum? Mum Angela Bassett, also! <laughs> they were out here doing that. We all saw that and we thought, oh my goodness, this is, this is stunning. This is a stellar piece of work. Well done, costume design team. For them to go and turn that blanket into a weapon of mass protection? This is obviously not a Basutu blanket. I didn't I couldn't afford one. They go for like a thousand rand in town. I don't I don't have pockets that deep, so this is close enough. This is this is this is Kenyan. Maasai people are from Kenya. Kenya's close. It's not even in the Sadek region. Oh wow. Well. I think I was worthy to bear witness to that scene. <laughs> and the moment, excuse me. Yes, yes, I'm done. I'm back. Reason number five, which is actually my personal favorite. Okoye taking her own wig off and using it as weaponry to disrupt. Just nets of a disruption. Ah! Are you wondering how that's a South African concept? Cute Denise Zimba. I almost got robbed, guys. Hijacked. Boy, Ari. Go, go, go. Eh, 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 eh. Ufuna. What did I do? Yay! My cross! My cross! Ay! 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 Ay!
Wakanda forever fam. It's been real. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. Please share it, like, comment, and subscribe.